This is Everything Remains Raw, photographing Toronto's hip-hop culture from analog to digital. What it does is it takes a snapshot of the early sort of years of hip-hop in Toronto and it, and it attempts to share with its public or with the audiences uh, different ways to understand and think about hip-hop culture, its legacies, and some of its artistic strategies. Dr. Mark V. Campbell is a scholar, DJ, and arts activist. He organized and curated the exhibit. He is also the founding director at Northside Hip Hop Archive, and he knows firsthand the importance of this exhibition. Hip hop often gets misread as rap only, and it's highly commodified now, but there are several elements of the culture, such as graffiti art, such as breakdancing or b-boying, which it's called, that most people don't know about when they consume rap music. And I think spending time learning about the elements of hip hop helps people grow an appreciation for the artistic forms involved. The exhibit embraces painting and photography by 12 contemporary black artists and photographers. And though it focuses on Toronto, Art Gallery of Sudbury officials say it's something everyone should see, especially millennials. I know from having nephews who are now 21 and 25 that this, uh, the graffiti culture and uh, music culture is extremely important to that youth generation and they spend a lot of time themselves in New York trying to um, find um, very specific graffiti murals. So I knew that a uh, generation younger than myself was totally interested in the visualization of this culture. Everything Remains Raw, photographing Toronto's hip-hop culture from analog to digital, will be open to the public until February 17th. Lindsay Alex, CTV News, Sudbury.